Let's draw the structure for 1,3-dichlorocyclopentane. Pent right here tells us that there are five carbons present in the longest carbon chain. Ane here tells us that this is an alkane, meaning that there are only single bonds between carbons. Now we see the word cyclo here. This means that the five carbons are arranged in a ring. When we have five carbons in a ring, we just have a pentagon. So let's draw the pentagon. So this is cyclopentane. We have five carbons in a ring. Let's number these carbons. We also have fluoro attached. This means that we have a fluorine attached to this cyclopentane. The star here tells us that there are two fluorines attached, one on the first carbon and the other one on the third carbon. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach fluorine on the first carbon here and on the third carbon here. So this is the structure for 1,3-difluorocyclopentane. Let's draw the structure for methylcyclohexane. Hex right here tells us that there are six carbons present in the longest carbon chain. Ane here tells us that this is an alkane, meaning that there are only single bonds between carbons. Now we have a cyclo here, meaning that the longest carbon chain is arranged in a ring. Every time you see the word cyclo, there's always a ring present. We have six carbons in the longest carbon chain, and these carbons are arranged in a ring. So we're just basically going to draw a hexagon. So let's do that. This is a cyclohexane. We have six carbons arranged in a ring. We also have a methyl attached to this cyclohexane. And we don't see any number here. When we don't see a number, this just means that the methyl is attached on the first carbon. Now, we don't really need to number cyclohexane because any of these carbons can be the first carbon. We can choose this as our first carbon, or this, or this, or this. And we can attach our methyl anywhere on this ring. So let's attach the methyl here. So this is the structure for methylcyclohexane. Let's draw the structure for methylcyclopropane. Prop right here tells us that there are three carbons in the longest carbon chain. Ane right here tells us that this is an alkane, meaning that there are only single bonds between carbons. Now we see the word cyclo here. Every time there is a word cyclo in the name, we know that these carbons are arranged in a ring. Every time you see a cyclo, you have to draw a ring. We have three carbons and we're going to arrange them in a ring. So let's do this. When we draw the three carbons in a ring, we are going to end up with a triangle. There's also a methyl attached to the cyclopropane, but we don't see a number here to tell us where this methyl is attached. When there is no number, we just assume that it is on the first carbon. And we really don't need to number this cyclopropane because this can be the first carbon or this, 
or this. We can attach the methyl anywhere. Okay, so let's attach the methyl here. So this is the structure for methyl cyclopropane. Let's draw the structure for 3,4-dimethyl cyclopentene. Pent right here tells us that there are five carbons present in the longest carbon chain. Eme here tells us that there is a double bond present between the carbons. It is an alkene. Now, when we see the word cyclo, this means that the longest carbon chain is arranged in a ring. Every time you see the word cyclo, you have to draw a ring. So when you draw the five carbons in a ring, it will just be a pentagon. So let's draw the pentagon. Now we drew our pentagon. Now we have to add the double bond. Since we don't see a number for the double bond, we assume that it is on the first carbon, meaning it is between the first and the second carbon. So let's number these carbons. Let's draw the double bond between the first and the second carbon. So we have the cyclopentene drawn in. Now we need to attach the dimethyl. Dimethyl means that there are two methyls attached to the cyclopentene, one on the third carbon and one methyl on the fourth carbon. So we have a methyl on the third carbon here and we have a methyl on the fourth carbon here. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's draw the methyls on the third and the fourth carbon. So this is the structure for 3,4-dimethyl cyclopentene, or you can also call it 3,4-dimethyl cyclopent-1-E. Let's draw the structure for 3-ethyl cyclohexene. Hex right here tells us that there are six carbons present in the longest carbon chain. Eme here tells us that there is a double bond present between the carbons. Now we see the word cyclo. This means that the six carbons are arranged in a ring. Every time we see the word cyclo, we have to draw a ring. Now when we draw six carbons in a ring, we end up with a hexagon. So let's draw a hexagon. Okay, so let's number these carbons. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we have a double bond present. And we don't see a number. When we don't see a number, this means that it is present on the first carbon. Hexene basically means that there is a double bond between the first and the second carbon right here. So let's draw the double bond between the first and the second carbon. Now we also have a methyl attached to this cyclohexene and it is attached on the third carbon right here. So let's get rid of these numbers and let's attach ethyl on the third carbon. This is the structure for 3-ethyl cyclohexene or 3-ethyl cyclohex-1-E. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.